chasing all the headlights. Oh. Hi guys, it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing my Holy Grail lip products. I'm so excited to do this video because I love lipstick and liquid lipsticks and lip glosses and everything like that so I can finally share my favorites with you. So I have colors from nude to pink to orange to red to purple, all of the colors that I've been obsessed with for quite a while now. So a lot of them are from MAC and Chi Chi. So we have some drugstore and some high end. So I'm going to start with the lightest colors and, my, uh, and work my way to the darkest. And I also have swatched all of the colors on my lips so you can see them on my lips in real life. So let's go ahead and get started. The first combo that I have is Charlotte Tilbury. I only got this like a week ago and hands down would have to be one of my favorite nude combos ever. So this is the lip cheat in the shade Iconic Nude. This is just a really nice neutral nude color. Um, I don't even know how to describe this. It's so easy to apply on your lips. It's just creamy and buttery and it's so easy to overdraw them. I love that you can actually sharpen this because I do have a lot of lip pencils that you can't sharpen so you literally get like that little stub of product and that's all so i've been obsessed with this and also the lipstick over the top this is in the shade nude kate again just like a really nice neutral nude color um most of the nude colors that i have are more on the pinky side and they're a bit more warm but this is gorgeous i think it's just different to my other nudes that i have so i've been really really enjoying this the next nude combo we have is something you guys probably would have seen me use a hundred times already because I've been using this for like three months now and I'm still obsessed with it. So this is the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Spice. MAC has the best lip formulas, lip lipstick and lip pencil formulas I've ever used in my entire life. These would have to be the easiest ones to use because they're so buttery and they just glide over your lips so easily. Unlike some others, they kind of like pull on your lips and drag and they don't look as like smooth. So obsessed with this, this is a really like warm brown color. So the perfect shade to overdraw for that Kylie Jenner lip. And then the lipstick from MAC in the shade Velvet Teddy. This is pretty much the exact same to the Spice lip pencil, um, except a bit more on the neutral side. So I love this, but it is a little bit too like old lady-ish. So I love going in with the Land Crime lipstick in the shade Baby, which is just a pink. It has like all of the Velvet Teddy at the bottom. And I just simply put this in the middle of my lips to create kind of an ombre look. So to make the middle of the lips look really big and then go out to that neutral brown color. So I've nearly finished all of this lipstick. I love Lime Crime lipsticks. I know there was a bit of controversy going on between them and how they're taking people's money. I don't really know what's going on, but all I know is not to buy Lime Crime from the store directly, maybe go into Princess Polly and buy it or something. But yeah, this color is amazing. I don't really like wearing it on its own because it's too pink for my skin tone, but Right in the middle of that lipstick, it works so well. Oh, and this is vegan as well, so that's pretty cool. Oh my god, and the packaging. <laughs> so now moving on to more of the pink tone. So I've never really been a fan of like really intense bright pinks. I like more of the subtle pink, so this works perfectly for me. This is the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Boldly Bare. So this is kind of in between the nudie brown and the pink. So it's like right in the middle, right in my comfort zone. And then we have the NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Snow Cap. So this is kind of more of a sheer lipstick compared to the others that I'm sharing with you. But you can definitely build it up to the, you know, intensity that you want. Intensity, is that a word? I don't really think it is, but moving on. This is just a really nice pink. It's subtle and it's kind of in between the nude and the pink. So it's not like in your face. This next pink combo, I would have to say, is like the brightest pink that I would go for. I'm not really a fan of really bright Barbie pinks just because I feel like that matches more of like light features so people that have blonde hair and blue eyes or green eyes i've got like nearly black everything on my face so i feel like just more of like nudie muted kind of colors suit me better so yeah this is as crazy as i'll go this is the mac lip pencil in the shade edge to edge it is just a kind of muted pink it's nothing too crazy or obnoxious and then to go with that i use the chi chi lipstick in the shade game on as you can see it's nothing too crazy but it is in the pink family so I'm quite happy with this the Chi Chi lipsticks are very very good quality I literally have like 20 so nearly the whole range why am I out of breath right now I'm just talking so much let's talk about orange lipstick I love orange lipstick because it's not like the basic red it's something a little bit different and not many people wear it but I think everyone needs to get this this is the Chi Chi in the shade status it is incredible it's so different and unique and just one swipe it looks 
like this. And I also have the MAC lipstick in the shade Morange, which is very, very similar. The formulas on both of them are very, very good, but I tend to lean towards the Chi one for some reason. And then to outline my lips, I just use the Ruby Woo in... Ruby Woo by MAC. This is actually a bright red, but I find that it kind of works with the status. Like, I just outline my lips with this, put the status on top, and then blend it together, and you can't even see this. I always like going in with a lip pencil just because it creates a really nice really nice shape in lips. It's really neat. So, I don't think having a lip pencil that is exact color is really necessary. Um, but yeah, this is all I've got, so I make it work. Okay, so now time for the staple red. I always use my MAC in the shade Ruby Woo, but I left it at my friend's house because I wore it clubbing last weekend. You guys need to check out the MAC Ruby Woo if you haven't already, but something that's very similar to it is the Chi Chi in the shade Countess. It's a really nice, deep red. I just think it's the red that everyone loves. It's just very staple and you can't go wrong with that. And then the lip liner that I use is the Ruby Woo. So this one is the red that matches basically every red that I have in there. I always just blend it in with a lipstick and it always works well. So I think this is a good lip liner to have in your collection. If you guys are game enough to wear a really dark lip, I have some amazing products. I love dark lips because it makes the teeth look really white. And it just looks really different. Like seriously, how many people do you see walking in the street with a dark lip? I just think it looks incredible. So the lip liner that I always use when I have a dark lip is the MAC in the shade Night Moth. It's just a deep, dark purple, and it goes with every dark lipstick or lip gloss or anything that I have. So this is always handy to have in your collection if you like dark lips. So the first one that I have is the Chi Chi in the shade Let Me Tempt You. So this is a gorgeous, really dark purple, like berry shade. In the bullet, it looks nearly black, but once you put it on, it looks insane. So this stuff is great. And the next product that I have is Chi Chi as well in the shade Turn Me On. This is kind of more of a wearable color. So if you're a bit intimidated by the other one that I just shared with you, this one is amazing as well. So I'll just say it's a few shades lighter and a bit more on like the pinky kind of side. It's not as deep and purple as the other one. This one is also amazing. I keep saying like amazing great. I'm really sorry about that. People get annoyed at that. <laughs> Now time for my favorite of all, which is the Lime Crime Velveteens. I have two shades right here that I wear all the time. I would have to say this is suitable for special occasions like clubbing or even if you want to kiss someone. Because it's non-transferable, it will not come off all night. It won't transfer onto something. It won't transfer onto your clothes. It just has the best staying power, the best color payoff. Oh my god. So I have the shade Sudo Berry, if that's how you pronounce it. This is a gorgeous corally red color. I wear this like every time I want to wear a red lipstick when I go out to a special occasion because when I wear other red lipsticks it gets on my teeth or it fades or when I eat it comes off and it's really annoying so I always lean for this one even though I have like 100 other red lipsticks this stuff is just what I lean for all the time and then the shade Wicked which is a gorgeous purpley maroon color which is what I have on my lips right now I wear this all the time I don't even know what else to say about this, but this is incredible. So there we have my favorite lipsticks of all time. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. I'm obsessed with lipsticks. I literally have so many in my collection, but they would have to be the ones that just stand out to me, the ones that are the best for their buck. I would definitely recommend literally every single product that I shared with you today. All, there's magpies going past my room. All just really great quality. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.